Hello, welcome to my awesome health journey. Today is going to be more about uh, mentally. I'm Brett Dupree, of course. This is my awesome halter. Uh, one thing about my last video, I taught, I called myself an idiot, and a few people kind of fought back or clapped back or wrote, wrote something along the lines. And I understand where they're coming from because the idea of words having power. In fact, that was my first Toastmaster competition speech back when I used to compete in Toastmasters. Sheesh, uh, 13 years ago, 14 years ago, 13 years ago. Yeah, man, long time ago. But my speech was words have power. How you speak to yourself truly matters to how you treat yourself. And I should have used that. That's actually kind of catchy. Well, anyway, the idea was that what you say matters. And the thing that I've kind of discovered in my life is it's a little more... For me, it's different than that. It's not so much about the words you use, but the intention behind the words and the feeling you get from the words. Like, I can call myself an idiot because I don't think I'm an idiot. I think I'm an extremely smart individual, at least smart enough to understand. I mean, I know some parts of my life I'm ignorant because we're all ignorant about something. In fact, I don't even think ignorance is a bad word. Ignorance is just natural. We're all ignorant. And there's things in life I don't know, and I learn new things all the time, and I find that exciting. And... But the idea of me calling myself an idiot, I just think it's funny because I don't think I'm stupid. I mean, I'm not smart about ever, you know, you know, I'm not trying to be super big ego here, but I don't think I'm a stupid person. I think I'm a relatively intelligent human being and calling myself an idiot. It's funny to me because I don't think I'm an idiot because I think life is all about the intention behind the words that you use with yourself because I think the way life works, uh, especially when it comes to self talk and self-care is about the how you feel when you talk the words because you can call yourself smart all you want but if you don't believe you're smart you're actually going to feel a disconnect from it in fact you're going to feel um like you're going to feel bad about being called smart like one thing my ex used to call me as little um used to not like calling me fat but calling me like, you know, saying that I'm not fat and stuff like that. But that would actually make me feel bad because I know that I am. Calling me something I'm not, even if it's positive, and it's against my idea of the world and my worldview, doesn't make me feel good. It actually makes me feel worse because I that's not the construct that I have in my head. So that won't have the effect that people are um, expecting expecting because of what's going on in my head because everything in life is about interpretation and intention and context i think that's the most important aspect of life is the context of the words we use i mean it's like when you have best friends and you go up to them and go hey you huge sack piece of crap how are you doing you ugly motherfucker and they're like oh this is my favorite sack of shit and, you know, that's loving, but, you know, two people who are, like, snide and talking to me, ooh, aren't you smart? You know, that's what sarcasm is, saying something nice, but using a very rude tone. And that's what I think life is all about, is having a positive intention about yourself and really listening to the words and the context that makes you feel good that makes you feel good it's like that story of the native americans you have two wolves in your in your mind one positive one negative and the one that's stronger is the wolf you feed and you feed the more positive one and i don't think it's so much positive words but positive intention i for instance when i'm in a situation now i don't try to think to myself what is the best way to act i try to think of the way what was what way can i be more proud of myself how would how would i be proud of, how would i be react with the way i acted how would i be proud with the way i acted or when i leave a situation and just think back am i proud with how i reacted and if i'm not proud i think what can i do next time so i can leave feeling good about myself not good just proud about myself because sometimes even a negative reaction if it's better than my negative reactions before I can still be proud of it and still work to improve because life isn't a binary of good and bad. We're all doing our best with what we have at the moment that we have it. 
And sometimes that makes us huge sacks of shit to people. And that's life. But other times it makes us awesome. But we just have to be kind to ourselves. We have to treat ourselves with kindness, with love, with peace and understanding. And know that we won't always be perfect. We don't always say the right thing. We won't always do the right thing. We won't always be the best person that we are. Sometimes we're petty, small. Sometimes our feelings get hurt. Sometimes we lash out. Sometimes we react poorly. Sometimes we just do things that upset other people, even though we do not mean to. Even if we're trying to be the best and we even think we're doing a good thing. Sometimes that just might be the wrong thing for that person at that time. I feel like I'm rambling at this point. And I think I lost my train of thought. So basically, I think what I'm just trying to say is life is all about intention. And feeding yourself that right intention and the context of it so much, not the, so much the words you speak, but the intention and context behind the words you speak. Because you can be the most polite person in the world, but if what's behind that politeness is venom, that's not being nice. It doesn't matter if you're saying sir or ma'am when you actually mean you can go to hell. But it also doesn't, it's also the negative is true. If you call somebody who does not believe that the negative and you just have that belief within you that it's fine, it's not the words that you speak that matters, but the intention and context. And so I truly do believe, thank, thank you for listening to this little rant. And also thank you for being who you are and that I love you for who you are and that you are in fact worthy.